Welcome to Brief Crypto. We review the talk and action around crypto and sum it up. Today is Thursday, June 9th. Today's video is for entertainment only. We're looking at the markets on CryptoBubbles.com on the daily top 100 tokens. Uh, pretty much a red day for cryptocurrency, although we do have quite a few green bubbles. We have Helium up 11.6, VeChain up 7.5, Chainlink up 6.3, Theta up 7.1, Chain up 3.8, Tezos up 3.3, Polygon Matic up 4.3. Some of the bigger red bubbles, Huboy Token down 6.5, Eagle down 5.6, Clayton down 3.6, Arweave down 4.3. So red day, down day for crypto, but uh, several green bubbles. Today we're going to be looking at Ethereum. Yesterday we looked at the Bitcoin cycle low box and today we're going to be looking at the Ethereum cycle low box. And so we're going to look at how the data points to us reaching a low in this box in between mid-September and mid-October between $500 and $600. So in the last Bitcoin having two cycle, the ETH peaked, the ETH low, 48 weeks down 90%. If we come from the Bitcoin having three Ethereum peak, down 48 weeks, 90%, that puts us at $600. If we come down 75% from where we crossed the 100-week simple moving average, that's when we reach a low for Ethereum in the having two cycle. Do the same thing, come from where price action crossed over the 100-week simple moving average, down 75%, comes down to $500. If we come straight down on the day of the low from the 200 week simple moving average that's 57 percent in the bitcoin having two cycle for ethereum low and if we do the same in the bitcoin having three cycle for ethereum low straight down from the projection of this 200 week simple moving average following the same slope up to to around 1300 then that would put us down 57 percent would put us down to 550 for an Ethereum price. Of course, the big question is how will Ethereum 2.0 impact price action and a low for Ethereum in this cycle? And it's our belief that we, pro that we won't see as big a drop in Ethereum and that possibly will only drop uh, around 30% below the 200 week simple moving average, which would put us at $900 between mid September and mid October of this year for a low for Ethereum in this cycle. It's not financial advice, not a financial advisor, and past performance is no guarantee of future returns. But uh, tell us what you think in comments below, whether you think uh, this data points t uh, correctly to a box around 500 to 600, and how you think ETH 2.0, going from proof of work to proof of stake, will impact the Ethereum price in this cycle. We're continuing to look at the NASDAQ as Bitcoin has been most closely following the NASDAQ of the three indices, the S&P 500, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and the NASDAQ. And so the NASDAQ has been consolidating for 34 days. And from the one year simple moving average, it's down 12 to 13 percent. Bitcoin's been consolidating for 29 days. And from the one year simple moving average, it's down 29 to 31 percent. So quite a bit more. Ethereum's doing similar. It's been consolidating for 28 days, and it's down from the one-year simple moving average 40 to 42 percent. Looking at Bitcoin halving cycles and how they point to the Bitcoin having low box, uh, we talked about that yesterday, and so we wanted to just look back on the the previous cycles. This is the having one cycle, and we're currently from the peak in the having three cycle down from the having three peak 30 weeks. So that in the having one cycle. This is the relative same point. So you can see it was, rel it was pretty much a downtrend down to the low at the 200 week simple moving average for having cycle one, for having cycle two. From the 30th week, we did get a little bit of a pump, but then down and hit pretty much on the 200 week simple moving average. Having cycle three, uh, we're coming down. And if we follow the having two fractal from peak to low, we're going to hit just below the 200 week simple moving average. And we did a detailed video on data pointing us to this having three low box for Bitcoin. So you can go back and look at that video done yesterday. In news uh, related to crypto on CryptoPotato.com, according to Jim Cramer, crypto investors 
should focus mainly on Bitcoin and Ethereum and never borrow money to enter the ecosystem. In a recent interview, the host of CNBC's Mad Money Show, Jim Cramer, described himself as a, quote, believer of digital assets. Predominantly in Bitcoin and Ethereum, the two largest cryptocurrencies by market cap have been embraced by many investors and seem to have the biggest merits, merits he opined. On Crypto Newsflash, 85% of merchants say crypto payments will be a trend in the next five years. Small and medium-sized businesses are budgeting up to $1 million to develop crypto payments infrastructure. Motivations behind such schemes are customer demand, expectations of customer growth, and, quote, cutting-edge appearance. On Cointelegraph.com, while many argue that a capitulation event will enter in the coming months to send Bitcoin to 20000 or under, Lee believes that underlying strength is worth paying attention to now. It's a risk on assets, so I think to the extent that NASDAQ and Bitcoin rally, it's helping us become more comfortable that the market's already bottomed, he told CNBC's CB over, Overtime segment. At the same time, Lee brushed off the Terra debacle and redundancies at major crypto companies, including the United States Exchange Coinbase, saying that Bitcoin was acting far better than people expect. So looking at total cryptocurrency market cap, it went down 1.2% to 1.27 trillion. 24-hour volumes, very light. It's down 38.2% from pretty much normal volume of 93 down to 58. Very light volume for the day. Bitcoin dominance has gone down for the last couple of days, but still in an uptrend. It's down 0.3% to 45.4. And ETH dominance went down 0.1% to 17.2. So we're in week five of the dollar cost averaging buying season. According to our buying plan at today's video, ETH cycle low. Data pointing to the box. Tell us what you think in comments below. Thank you for joining today's Brief Crypto. If you like today's video, please follow us. Today's video is for entertainment only. We are not financial advisors. You should always do your own investment research.